and we'll get started in just a few minutes. We've got a really fun 4th of July themed uh, speak out voice practice today. Uh, this was the only red, white, and blue clothing that I own, so it's, uh, it's my American themed shirt today. And we'll get going in just a minute. Make sure you do have a big glass of water. Okay, we'll jump into that practice, the main me, my, mo, mu, that warm up. And we're going to say it nice and smooth and connected, but most importantly, with that speak out voice, that well projected voice, uh, lots of intonation. Okay, let's start with the first one sitting up nice and tall, posture so important, chest lifted, and nice big belly breath. Here we go. May, me, my, mo. And let's do another one. May, me, my, mo, mu. Lots of exaggerated mouth movement. Really get those articulator muscles warmed up. Let's do two more. May, me, my, mo, moves. Nice and deep breath. May, me, my, mo, mu. And one more, fill that tank with air. May, me, my, mo, mu. Good, okay, moving on to our well-projected ah. So even that ah is with intent. It's launched up and over top of your screen with lots of confidence, okay? So 10 seconds on the clock, here we go. Ah, rounded, open mouth. Let's do another one. Ten seconds. Ah, nice, strong, well projected voice. Two more seconds. And stop. Remember to sip on that water. And let's do another one. Here we go. Ah, launching that voice. Imagining there's that net or you're launching it over the screen, whatever works for you, whatever visual. And another one. Here we go. 10 seconds. Nice and strong. Ah, uh, keep it going. Five more seconds. Good. You'll have to let me know or message me at the end of the session what you think the answer to our very cheesy jokes are. Okay, let's do two more. Here we go. Ah, keep it going, keep it strong. And one more, here we go. Ah, keep it going. Keep it strong, keep it steady. Keep it that nice, even loudness if you can. And keeping that same intensity and energy of that ah, we're going to glide it up uh, high in pitch, take a breath and then bring it back down. So let's start with the first one. Okay, here we go. Ah, take a breath. Ah, and stop. Let's do another one. Ah, stop. Ah, stop. And another one. Ah, uh, take a big breath 
at the top. Uh, and another one. Here we go. Uh, stop. Uh, Let's do two more. Really get that laryngeal practice in there, that laryngeal elevation. Uh, big breath. Uh, so I just want to make one note, uh, one comment before we do the last one. Even though I say take a big breath, it doesn't mean that you now blast out the voice. The key is to take a breath, have your reserve full, and then be able to control that, um, proje uh, that projection of the voice and the pitch gliding up. If you burst uh, out strong right out of the gate, you're going to lose all that air. So it's much harder to, to take in that breath and then control how you're, how you're voicing it. So we want it strong, but we also want a gentle onset so that you're not blasting those vocal cords together in a harmful way. So think about that. Filling up the tank, but then really being uh, controlled about how you're using your voice in that glide. So let's try it on the last one. Fill up the tank. Uh... And do it again. Uh, good. Have a sip of water and we'll move on to those uh, the counting exercise. Today we are going to count by fives up to 20, 40, 60, and 80. And then the most challenging part will be for us to go backwards without seeing the numbers in front of us. That's harder. So you will have to think and focus more, which will force you to use intent. So this is a really good exercise. So let's uh, say every number with focus and concentration on the way up and on the way down. So counting by fives up in groups of 20. So, so start with me. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and then we take a little break. Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, take a little break. Forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Last one, 65, 70, 75, 80. Now for the more challenging part, without seeing those numbers, say them backwards in groups of five, starting with 80. Are you ready? 80, 75, 70, 65, starting with 60, 60, 55, 50, 45, no way you can do this without thinking about it, it's not automatic, 40, 40, 35, 30, 25, last one, starting with 20, 20, 15, 10, 5. So it's much harder when you count by groups of numbers that you don't typically do, like threes, fours, fives, sixes. So we'll, we'll add that challenge in sometimes just to make it even more of a cognitive task than it is. Okay, on to our 4th of July themed phrases, and then we'll have a little bit of 4th of July cognitive and trivia section. And remembering the key is you are repeating or answering with intent. 
So if you really want to get a good exercise out of this, if you find you do get cluttery uh, speech, especially when you're answering a novel question that you're not just repeating, if you find you're doing that uh, and you're finding it hard to control, uh, make this a very exaggerated exercise. So if I say the first one, let's say, um, happy Independence Day, you can make it even more exaggerated by going, happy Independence Day. And I'll do that sometimes. But if you feel you need that recalibration of the brain to really be intentional, then really exaggerate it. Keep in mind that this is speech exercise. We are doing this so that we can exercise now to have clearer, more fluent speech in the future. Okay. So feel free to draw it out and I'll do my best to do that in these examples. So let's do that one again. Happy Independence Day. Okay. Happy Independence Day. Next one. Raise the flag. Let's do that one again together. Raise the flag. Really draw it out, stretch it out. Next one. Boy, is it hot. Let's do that one again together. Boy, is it hot. Where are the sparklers? Say it with me a second time. Where are the sparklers? Next one. America the beautiful. Repeat it again with me. America the beautiful. So for the next two, the first one we're going to say very stretched out. And the second time we're going to say more at a normal conversational rate. Okay. So first one stretched out. Celebrate with intent. Now say it like this, celebrate with intent. Next one, first time stretched out. Home of the brave. Then a little bit more naturally. Home of the brave. These next three are a little bit longer, so we'll still stretch them out on the first one and then say them a little bit more naturally on the second one, okay? Don't forget to wear red, white, and blue. Like me. Now say it a bit more naturally. Don't forget to wear red, white, and blue. Okay, first time stretched out. What time do the fireworks start tonight? And then a little bit more naturally. What time do the fireworks start tonight? And our last one stretched out the first time. Who else is planning to go to the parade? And a little bit more naturally. 
Who else is planning to go to the parade? Okay, for our cognitive piece, remember, with intent, if you find that you're answering and you're not loud enough, you're, you're not paced enough in your speech, or you don't like the way you said it, repeat it again in that stretched out, focused manner, okay? With as much detail and intent, describe the American flag. I'll give you 10 seconds. Okay, remember, if you don't like the way that you're speaking in your answer, make a conscious note to stretch it out like this. Okay, you can't help but be intentional when you do that because it's not a normal, natural, automatic way to speak. Little trick. Okay, with intent, tell me things, as many things that you can think of that are red. Now tell me as many things that you can think of that are white. Now tell me as many things that you can think of that are blue. Now I want you to tell me as many types of pie that you can think of. Where's my timer? Okay, I'm gonna put 20 seconds on the clock. And I want you to sing with intent as much of the Star Spangled Banner that you can with intent. Here we go. I can hear it in my head. Okay, the last three are just some easy or maybe not so easy trivia questions that I want you to answer with intent. What country did the American colonies declare independence from? What is another name for the 4th of July holiday? And last one, what year was the Declaration of Independence signed? And before we sign off, I'm going to ask these jokes again, and you can say it with intent or type in your answer if you think you know it. How did the American flag say hello? Does anybody know that one? Can anyone think of how the American flag would say hello? It waved. Good, Becky, Mary Ellen, good for you. Okay, second cheesy joke. Uh, how did they decide what the American flag should look like? Told you these were cheesy. 
Anyone have an answer? How did they decide what the flag would look like? They took a flagpole. Grown. Okay, number three, what were the American colonists' favorite drink? Liberty, grown. And number four, why was the Liberty Bell joke so funny? Why was the Liberty Bell joke so funny? We'll see if anyone can get. Ah, good, Becky, because it cracked everyone up. Eye roll, groan. I know, terrible. Anyway, thanks for putting up with me yet again. High five, virtually everyone. Good, everyone got that one. Uh, thanks for joining me today. And for all of you who celebrate, have a wonderful 4th of July in whatever form it takes today. Have a wonderful day as you celebrate your Independence Day. And I'll see you again on Monday.